So hi, uh, hi, I'm Chris, and uh, well, this is not a usual quality you have gotten used to over the well almost years. No, not really. Just a couple of months. So, okay, so anyway, I don't really have time, so I'm trying this uh, web camera upload, and this is not a usual show. It's just a kind of log, and um, when I'm talking about. Uh, where I try to talk about a little bit of Hungarian history because history is important for culture and culture is important for learning a language because uh, culture is you know a huge part of a language it's not true that culture uh, creates language and language creates culture it's um, it's a kind of a mixture, so it's important to need to learn the culture and to uh, learn the history. Now uh, we don't start with ancient history because that's boring. Uh, we start um, relatively close to our date. We start, uh, I don't know, 20 years ago when there was a, si uh, a change in the system. How, how our country works. This was the fall apart of the Soviet Union. Now the Soviet Union was in our lives for almost 50 years, which is a really long time for influence, and it influenced us greatly. So um, all the Soviet Union sort of uh, recreated Hungary unintentionally or intentionally we don't know maybe it's a conspiracy maybe it's not what I can tell you is the result of this and the result is quite bad first of all our country is a, a democratic country not like uh, Egypt used to be you know dictators for 40 years no uh, clean elections now here in Hungary we have clean elections, but uh, well, no one really goes because um, you know the choice is really not that great. First of all, we have a former communist party, uh, which is supposed to be socialist, but you know socialism, communism in our country is really almost the same. It's uh, it sounds bad. The other is uh, Fidesz. This is a democratic party. Uh, it's called the Alliance of Young Democrats. Uh, Fiatal Demokraták Szövetsége. Szövetség is Alliance, Demokraták Democrats, and uh, Fiatal is Young. And now you learn some Hungarian. Okay, so um, we have this party currently leading our country, but it's, it doesn't really matter right now because uh, I want to talk about politics in Hungary in general. After the fall apart of the Soviet Union, we had, uh, we had to start uh, clean elections and stuff. Now, as I mentioned, our parties are not that great. We are very young in democracy. We, we don't really know what to do. Or what the parties see is really, well, there's money here, we can take that. And uh, they they really take it, I mean, yeah. And the worst part is that uh, they do it um, not very cleverly. So, we we always found out. We have, uh, well, we don't really have a great journalist, but, you know, if the money is lying there and everyone can see it and everyone can see that uh, from this packet it went to that packet, then, you know... <laughs> it's uh, it can be traced very well okay anyway so uh the problem is that uh, uh the economy of our country is not very good and now our parties over the past 20 years had to should have done something i mean uh, but they didn't really because they don't know how they collect the money but they don't know what to do so the result is that our economy, after the great crisis the last time, you know, you all, all remember that, it started from the USA and then 
went over the world. Now we have that right now, and now it's 2011. In, in Jesus Christ, sorry, it's 2011, and uh, we still have crisis and stuff. So it's really, it's supposed to be funny, but when they uh, play with your money, it's not that funny. So this is our current situation. Uh, we are a starting democracy, and uh, well, we don't, we, we are not really good learners. So it will take a long time before we learn actual stuff. Okay, so that's about it. And how many times that it was? It's like uh, I can't see it because there's a light in my. Uh, just hang on a second. I don't know. No, sorry. Five minutes or so. So, oh, I have still, I still have time to talk about one more thing. So, um, let's let's talk about a little bit um, of Fidesz, the Young Democrats, if you remember. Now, the Young Democrats called the Young Democrats because uh, when the Soviet Union fell apart, they started a kind of revolution. They were very young. Uh, they they were going to university at that time, and the party leaders uh, were young, their followers were young, and you know they um, they started this change, this um, uh, bloodless revolution, so to speak, and they succeeded. Now, uh, after a while, they grew old. I mean, uh, the party leaders grew a little bit old. They had this rule that if you uh, were, uh, if you passed uh, a certain period, a certain, uh, certain age, it was 35 at that time. So if you are over 35, you have got to get kicked out of the party. Now, when the party leaders turn, turned uh, 35, guess what happened? Yes, they changed the rule and they stopped referring themselves as young Democrats. They started to use um, the short, um, you know, letters thing is, and, um, and they called them Fides after that. And they never spoke again about uh, young democracy or something. So anyway, that... Uh, that is what I really wanted to mention. I know that this is not um, a one-time thing. I don't. I. I know that this is not unique, but this is our country, and this is our cur current leaders. I'm talking about. So they they do a, a fairly good job. They try. I have to give. The, I, I have to give it to them, but. Um, but this is kind of strange, you know, so, anyway, well, I, I believe I, I will be busy for a while, so maybe this will be our thing, I don't know, this is not a full episode, this is, uh, you know, uh, last time I, I taught you many new things about the future, so I believe that you you have a lot to think about and if you have any questions please ask them I mean don't be afraid I will check my emails I promise and uh, a video is coming up I don't know when I have the uh, script I have everything but I need to shoot that by I ho I only have this a couple of minutes to record and let YouTube do its thing so well, thank you anyway for watching, and I I hope I um, I hope you learned a great a great deal uh, about our recent history, and um, if you have any questions, now I told you that. Okay, next time we will talk about socialism because uh, either way, I I really love that era. It's it's an era of so much contradiction. It's um, it's unbelievable. It's almost unbelievable. I, I mean, I, if uh, or when I uh, tell it to people from the Western world, they they tend uh, not to believe it. So.
it's it's going to be a great deal okay so thank you anyway and goodbye where is the stop button